The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Offer and conditioning is another type of process involved in learning that's um, very important. Offer and conditioning was discovered by B.S. Skinner and he did a lot of work with that. He um, worked for the Army trying to train pigeons to direct homing missiles, all kinds of crazy stuff that he did with offer and conditioning. There's a couple basic concepts here that um, are kind of the framework for operant conditioning. Whereas with classical conditioning, um, something is paired before a stimulus occurs, this uh, reinforcer is delivered after a certain behavior occurs. There's positive and negative reinforcers. A positive reinforcer is something like praise, money, uh, food item. A negative reinforcer is something that's aversive and when it is removed, the behavior that occurred immediately prior to the removal of that aversive stimulus um, is removed. So let me give a couple examples. If I were to pick up this red pen and someone gave me a dollar, I would be more likely to pick up the red pen in the future. In fact, I would probably sit here and pick up and drop this pen all day. A negative reinforcer is something aversive. Say someone was pounding on a door or pounding on the wall or something, and I said, hey, could you please stop? And they stop, then I'm more likely to use that strategy in the future telling someone, hey, could you please stop to get them to do some, get them to stop doing something that I don't like. There's um, two types of escape, um, two types of negative conditioning, um, escape and avoidance. The one we just talked about was escape, that while something is happening, I engage in a certain behavior and it stops. Avoidance is engaging in a certain behavior to avoid the stimulus being presented at all. So an example of avoidance would be um, I see rain clouds when I get up in the morning and I think, hey, um, it might rain today. I don't want to get wet, so I bring an umbrella with me to avoid getting wet in the first place. Whereas escape would be it's already raining, I'm outside, I'm getting wet, and then I move inside to escape something that's already happening. Whereas avoidance, it hasn't happened yet. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.